Welcome back to F1 2016. We're kicking this one off with a sponsor bonus. Apparently what we've been doing as part of Haas is getting some attention and we've got 400 additional resource points. And then Chris over here is going to be like, yo, here's your fuel efficiency upgrade that you asked for from Monza. It's Singapore. We're going to be jumping straight into this one because I didn't do quali because I hate Singapore. It's not my least favourite track, but it's, bot it's like bottom five. It's not fun. So I didn't do quali. So I have no quality footage, but um, it's a street circuit as well, and I'm not a fan of it. Hot climate, night race, sticky, humid, disgusting. We're gonna have to see what we can uh, what we can do from the back. But we're in a tight fight with the Ferrari boys as well as Williams in the constructors' championship. So those are all things we're gonna have to consider. But without further ado, it's the Singapore Grand Prix. So there we are, at the back. Here's what the game was trying to tell me to do for uh, for Singapore. Not really a big fan of uh, of a one stop at the back, but I suppose you know we're going to have to go into the most durable tire, uh, or one of the most durable tires. Probably, I believe we start on the super softs. So I think I'm going to sort of adjust the strategy here momentarily uh, and sort of fight our way through um, due to the the issues that we had. Uh, Singapore, not a fun circuit, not an enjoyable one. It's hot, it's hard on the car, it's hard on the driver. Um, and it's going to be a, a tough one, tough one this weekend for us. As uh, you know, we've we've done, we've done better at circuits where the downforce is lower, and here the downforce is higher for a street circuit. So it's going to be tough for us to get points considering the position that we're at. And like I say, we're I'm battling both Ferrari drivers in the constructors' championship, and of course we have to consider Will. Um, uh, Williams in the in the constructors. Nice little glitch. Apparently I was leading at the start of the of the old formation lap. So. All right then, just sort of sit here, wait for the grid. Apparently, I'm going to be the lead car, but you know, that was a weird one. That was a very odd one. All right, Ericsson starting on the ultra soft at the back here. Not too sure what he's going to be looking to achieve. Bottas down here as well, so I don't know what's actually happened with him, but I suppose that slightly improves our chances against Williams in the constructors. Not too sure how high Massa is up in the grid here, but. We've got a short run to the first corner, nothing too major. First corner, not the real overtaking opportunity. It's like turn five is where we're going to have to consider after the big old long straight and any kind of DRS as we now build with four, five lights. And the Singapore Grand Prix is underway under the lights. Launching up into uh, Rich Mitch. Grosjean immediately pulls out from behind. He's side by side with one of the Toro Rossos and Massa. We're going to send one down the inside. Got to be careful. On the way in here, don't want to knock off any of our front wing. A lot of the guys here on the soft tyres, we duck it down the inside of turn two. Grosjean lurches forward side by side with the manor. Three wide on the exit, just squeezed past our teammate. Up into sixth things place now. And behind Felipe Massa on the opening lap here of the Singapore Grand Prix. Now we're just going to sit behind him in the slipstream. Can we look to gain anything on the first lap? As we now pull out to the left-hand side past Massa. Can we look to get him into this corner? Pascal Verline ahead of us. We bring it nice and controlled, slowed down, tuck it up behind Verline, and we make a big dive into the next right-hand corner. I'll squeeze Verline out. Maybe he wasn't perhaps expecting a move there, but it is the first lap, and everyone's jockeying for position, and we're now up into 14th place, and we now sit behind the Toro Rosso of Carlos Sainz. Lap 2 now. We're still here going through the first sector. This second sector here is just so slow and controlled and, and bunched up and all we're doing is sitting behind the car in front here in their dirty air. Not really able to get close to them due to the fact the straight line speed due to the extra downforce is not something our car's been, been very high on this weekend. So really our only overtaking opportunity is into Turn 5 as I had mentioned. And all we're doing is sitting in the dirty air getting hot Behind sides, yellow flag ahead of us. I'm not too sure why there's a caution. Verstappen's out of the Grand Prix early on. It's only lap two. Red Bull leading the Constructors' Championship, having a battle with Mercedes there. So it looks as if there was some smoke coming up. And you see Max pulled over to the right-hand side. That is an engine failure there for Max Verstappen. So his car clearly didn't like the conditions. And he's out of the race early on here in Singapore. Lap four, 
exact same scenario as we were. We're still behind Carlos Sainz as we can't get close to him uh, on that straight line to be able to make a move into the prime overtaking opportunity of the Singapore Grand Prix. And we're now just going to sit behind. But you can see up ahead, there's, a, there's such a train ahead of us that if we could just get up behind some cars and start making positions, it'd be really helpful here as we crawl through the snail section here at Singapore as we now go over the bridge into the right-hand hairpin, getting right close up behind Carlos Sainz now. Can we look to do anything on the traction zone? No, his car so much better on the traction. And we're not getting any benefit of the slipstream because the guys ahead are punching a hole for him as well. And McLaren's nice and up there battling for the points here. Can't to lap seven now. Still the same scenario. All we did for lap after lap after lap was sit behind the Toro Rosso on his gearbox. Team radio now. Okay, Simon. Brakes are getting hot. Try to cool on the straights. So that's a message from our team there indicating what I've been mentioning so far. It's, it's the hottest Grand Prix weekend and it's having a, an issue on the car where we've been sat behind signs and this train of cars in the dirty air for so long that everything's just getting hot. This is a lap later and this is uh, one of the Renaults here. I believe this is Kevin Magnussen with a right rear puncture on his ultra soft tyres and that holds everyone up. As you can see here, yellow flag and everyone just getting uh, getting pushed back. Actually, it's Palmer. Palmer in fifth place with the rear puncture, and it's just held everyone up. The yellow flag waving. The game should realise that we should just be able to pass him because no one wants to pass due to the AI thinking, well, I can't pass under a yellow. And now we just have to sit here as part of this mess. We managed to get past Science just about, but then we have to be so slow into the hairpin that he's going to get us back. We might be able to get him on the exit here. And finally, Palmer is able to get out of, the, out of the way on this straight here. But we've lost time in comparison to the guys ahead. And now we've got Button, Hulkenberg, Alonso just ahead of us. We should be able to close down on them due to our car was able to keep up before. Um, but that was, of course, with the uh, with the Renault at the head of the pack. There's now a full senior of Perez leading the charge there in fifth place. But tenth place, we're in the points and there's a safety car. So that sort of answers all of the, uh, all of the issues we were going to have there. Safety car, not too sure why. You can only assume... They've bought that for Palmer while he's uh, while he's recovering to the pits. Jeff going to offer us an alternate strategy just here, and we're not going to take it. We're going to uh, we're going to stick to our guns and just swap to the uh, to the soft compound tire as we were going to. We're going to do that early um, in this sort of strategy and sort of convert to a two stop with the uh, with a switch to the ultra soft at the end there. So we come in. As you would, as you would expect us to come in, we had the opportunity behind the safety car to come in, so it's not going to cost us as much. And we'll see what tyres a lot of the guys put on. I think a lot of guys are probably going to look to put the softs on. The McLaren looking like they're swapping button to the super softs there. I suppose they're probably thinking because the uh, the super soft is the um, the allocated tyre or the uh, the mandatory tyre, should I say? So they can put button on that and then flick them to ultra softs uh, at the end, but. There's no way we were going to be able to run a uh, run a similar strategy. We need to, to run the softs here and then be able to go on the ultra softs at the end. So end of lap 12 now. Safety car coming in at the end of this lap. Hopefully this safety car has also been able to help us with our brake issues that were mentioned by the team a little bit earlier on here. But now we're just harrying Jensen right up the side of him. And we've actually lost out on the acceleration there. The traction again not too great for the Haas car. And we're stuck behind him now. As we now go green flag racing across the line, we've lost out a few tenths to Jensen on the restart, which isn't exactly ideal. We're going to want to get him into turn one if we can. Late diving move there on the McLaren Honda car. We now sit behind Kimi Raikkonen and finds himself in 12th position. I think he must have got the secondary call, same as uh, Lewis Hamilton just there. As opposed to their teammates who would have been bought in the lap earlier if they are the leading car. Um, we're just going to find ourselves in a very similar position what we found all Grand Prix, sitting behind a group of cars with our car just getting hotter and hotter. As we charge towards turn five. Now we're way too far back from Raikkonen to be able to do anything. Or are we just looking at it? Down the inside, but not quite going to go for it. And now we go through the snail section of the circuit. Rio Harianto up in eighth place there. Shout out to Rio Harianto as we make a big move on Raikkonen. And we try and go down the inside of Hamilton, but he's on the ultra soft. He's going to get much better traction than we are. But we're going to sit in the slipstream with the Mercedes car. Get it down the inside. Can we slow it down in time for the next right-hander? Hamilton tries to hold around the outside, but we literally run and clean out of room. And I think he might have made a bit of contact with the air with the tyre barrier there. But run him out of room. Uh, a few other guys made their pit stop. We're now up into seventh position as Magnussen and Harry Anto are fighting hard for the position ahead. We're going to take the opportunity to dive it down the inside of Harry Anto, but we tag the back of Magnussen as we make the move, unfortunately. And we've taken damage to our, uh, to our front wing there. 
which definitely isn't ideal. That's going to cause us a lot of understeer, but um, we're going to refuse the pit stop for now. Brakes show no sign of improvement. They won't last until the end at this rate. So another message from the from the team just there saying that the brakes are still not improving. Even though I've been running in clean air now, as we tap the back of Hamilton again and damage the front wing even more on the on the slider, making contact with the tyre barrier as we try to get it slowed down. Apparently we have some major brake issues at this Grand Prix of overheating. And of course the overheating is miming a performance reduction, so we're going to have to bring it in now. Due to the, um, due to the front wing damage, and we're going to have to go to the super soft tyre. We should be able to take this set of tyres to, uh, to the end of the Grand Prix. There's very little tyre wear here around Singapore. So we should be able to take this next set of tyres to the end and hopefully we won't lose out too badly. It is annoying that we had to cut the stint short, but we were going to lose too much time um, with the damage to our uh, to our front wing. So we fit on the set of super softs. They changed the front wing and we're going to find ourselves in stone dead last here. Um, but Naz is out of the race, so I suppose that's going to bring us up to 20th shortly. So not, um, not a good showing at the moment this weekend for my performance in uh, in Haas if we're trying to improve anyone of the Ferrari bigwigs as it were so uh, we pushed you know we pushed on in the clear air we managed to set our personal best lap of the race and we caught up so there was Harry Ento who was of course running in eighth position we pass him and Ericsson going to be slow out of the pit so we're going to aim to try and get him if we can traction out of uh, out of turn two there we go down towards turn three the right hander before the straight get through nicely done get past Ericsson and that sort of builds my confidence back up a little bit in regards to we should hopefully be able to uh, to close up to the uh, to the back of the pack there. Roman has just pitted. Roman Grosjean just there has come in. Where's he going to look to come out? He's going to feed out now on lap 20. Feeds out just behind us there. We're actually going to come out, interestingly enough, or well, Rosberg is going to come out just ahead of us there. I believe Marcus Ericsson tried to make a move on us into turn one, made contact, and he's now at the Grand Prix. I unfortunately couldn't get a replay camera of that annoyingly because I wanted to see what uh, what happened because I couldn't feel any contact when I went through. But uh, Rosberg out just ahead of us on lap 20. We're 15th. I honestly can't even tell you where we are in this Grand Prix. It's it's always annoying when you when you get put out of sync due to I mean it was my own error for the uh, for the front wing there. So uh, lap 21 now. Rosberg has driven off into the distance. We've got Grosjean closing up on us at a vast rate of knots. We're just not fast. Team radio. Brakes are now critical. Brakes are now critical. Lift and coast into the corners. So that, that explains our, our lack of pace. The, the brakes are just overheating, even though we're running in clear air due to the uh, the muggy humidness of the of the dry Singapore air. Um, and you can see it here. The uh, the brakes are just not responding. The, the pedal's just going to the floor, and we're not getting any response. We're just running wide there. We're going to see it now. I would lift and coast into the corners, as the team suggested. Unfortunately, I've got a big fight on my hands as Jolian Palmer comes past us on the right-hand side. We're going to duck into the slipstream, and then we're going to make a big diving move late on the brakes, past him to recover the position. Harry Anto's out the Grand Prix for whatever reason. He's parked up on one of the final corners just there. Um, Grosjean got up ahead of us. Hopefully Grosjean could look to make a push for the points there, but the car is just not responding on the brakes, and we haven't got a lot of pace this weekend it has to be said as we now go once again foot to the floor brakes not responding we run out wide that gives Palmer an opportunity to sling it down there we go down the inside of Palmer taking a lot of curb on the way through but it was the only way to get past as we go again and we run it nicely through the hairpin as we now go one lap later now through on this uh, on this right hander this is the prime op uh, overtaking opportunity of Singapore here comes Palmer on our right hand side then we're going to have the Toro Rosso and the Williams are getting absolutely mugged by the lot of them, but we have to be last of the late breakers to try and go through, and that puts more pressure on our car and on the failing brakes. I mean, here's a replay of the situation. Palmer's already passed us. The Toro Rosso getting slip dream off him. The Williams Mercedes is going to power straight through, but we get it on the brakes, as we always do with our good defensive driving there. And we now come through to lap 25. We're coming through to the hairpin. Once again, the brakes being an issue as we go very wide. Bottas throws it down the inside of us on those ultra softs, but we got the wider exit. We have Slipstream and Rich Rez. We're going to go down the inside of him on the brakes, making contact with the Williams as we go through because the car just isn't getting slowed down. We've managed to knock the front wing again. Visually, it doesn't look to be that bad, but the car's not slowing down properly and it's not controlling properly on the front end. 
So we've clearly done some form of damage. It must be very minor as I can't see it from the current uh, current position here. And now, start of lap 26, Bottas all over us again. Gets us into turn one as we take maybe the more cautious approach around the outside. Try to run it as wide as we can. Still on the outside for the next corner. Valtteri Bottas goes through up into 12th place. We drop down to 13th. And I think we're also going to get uh, be under attack from the Williams, uh, or sorry, from the Force India and the uh, and the Renault into the next corner. We don't get to see it, unfortunately. We run the car wide, make more contact with the barrier, and now we're going to go into the left hander. Hulkenberg's having a look at us there. We run wide yet again. The brakes now. It's getting quite bad. There's black dust pouring out of the brakes as we try and hit the uh, hit the brake pedal. The heat is just having such a bad effect. I don't know why they're bad here of all places. They were fine in Canada, which is notorious for being a brake breaker, as it were. Uh, but Singapore is just the longest race on the calendar. The heat's bad. We couldn't get it slowed down again. That causes more front wing damage as we ploughed into the uh, into the wall there. And the car's just breaking down on us as we come to the end of the longest race on the calendar. But we can't come in uh, due to the stage of the Grand Prix. I mean, we're, then again, we're not going to get points either way. Hulkenberg streaks past us. We now go towards turn one. Science is on our inside. We hit the floor again. and we I mean, we would have plowed it to Hulkenberg if we carried on with our line there. The brakes just have no, have had it around this circuit. We feed up behind Pascal Verline in last position. Last position is where we currently are. And there's not much we can really do. I suppose we're going to battle for pride towards the end of this Grand Prix. We've got far too much understeer. And Verline's now got ahead of us there. As we now head down, and I don't even know what we can look to do with the uh, with the rest of the race here. Team Radio. Brake failure. Brake failure. Stop the car. Stop the car. Not, uh, not how you expect that to go. Really isn't. That was not a good weekend for us here at Haas. Or myself specifically. Grosjean with a good result. That puts me quite far behind the Ferrari boys in the Drivers' Championship. Grosjean was just outside the points. So, you know, if he could get more, that's probably going to help us in our battle with Williams as we're now only 13 points ahead of him. Renault looking to make a research has come out of nowhere, so it's going to be a three-way scrap for fourth place in the Constructors as we head on to the tail end of this uh, F1 2017 season. But, yeah, the, the car literally broke on us. Uh, the brakes broke, as it were, under the heat in Singapore. It's not, um, it's not really what you want to be happening at this stage of the season where you're trying to impress, trying to get your name out there for a, for a big team. Um, as, a, as I've said, you know, trying to join up with Ferrari. Um, hopefully things will be better le next, time, next time out uh, because it's, it's not gone well for us here at Haas uh, this weekend. Uh, clearly, the car is not yet up to scratch uh, in regards to... I mean, that, that, that's the first failure I've had over last year in this one so yeah i mean we'll see how it goes next time out thank you very much for watching i uh, do leave a like if you enjoyed and comment and feedback down below would be greatly appreciated and um, remember to subscribe to be enabled to be notified about the content coming to the channel see you all next